Welcome back, Kiss Army, to another episode of We Are One. Hey, what's going on, Kiss Army? Welcome back to another episode of We Are One, where in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Paul Stanley's Soul Station review. Um, this is actually Paul's first Soul Station album titled Now and Then. As you can see, you have everybody in the band, uh, including Kiss drummer Eric Singer. And then on the back, you have Paul's Soul Station logo here, along with what tracks are on which sides correspondingly. And that is a pretty simple album cover there. Open up the gatefold, and then you have Paul's um, writing, his thanks, his, you know, why he made the album, along with all of the band members and their individual photos as well. Again, Eric Singer, Kiss Drummer, is right there. This is the most common photo from Paul's Soul Station shoot that you all have been seeing. And Paul wrote many of these tracks himself. So um, we, while he does have a couple of covers, um, he has I Do and I O I both on side one are Paul's track. Save Me From You is also Paul's track. And Whenever You're Ready, I'm Here is also Paul's track as well as Lorelei. That is also Paul's track. So a good bit of these tracks are actually from Paul. So now getting into this album here, this is the colored vinyl. So they called it Opaque Violet. Um, in this first side, you see Paul gave us a nice insert. Again, just with the track listings. And again, you guys have to watch for the packaging on these new vinyls. Uh, just because some of the time they throw these inserts in here and there's no actual divider. So in here they can easily get damaged like mine did again. Um, but you can see here we just have the same track listings and then Paul did a series of live shows with it. Again, there's Eric Singer. And you see, you know, it's the same band as well. So that's awesome to see. And this is the insert along with a standalone shot of Paul. So with that out of the way... We are going to go ahead and take a look at this. First of all, this is the sleeve you get. This is not a replacement sleeve. It is just a clear plastic sleeve, and these are the most annoying sleeves ever to reinsert into the actual album. But upon taking that out, the actual vinyl itself is not translucent. It is um, quite awesome to see. It's not transparent in any way. And this really is called opaque violet, which I guess, you know, you could actually say is correct. Um, you have Paul's Soulville. This is just his logo there, along with some music. Side one to be played at 33 and a half RPM. Like some of Ace's newer pressings are played at 45, so just be sure you get that right. Again, with Paul's Soul Station, as well as the track listings on each side. Kind of a vintage look here with this different colored label right there with that little yellow bit inside as well. So not too much shock there with what that is, but then again, you have to go ahead and painfully painfully try and get that back in the vinyl um, album so again okay we'll go ahead and put this up as well this sleeve has already been damaged and this was actually available on you discover music whereas you can buy certain paul albums these soul station at record stores but this one was a colored vinyl um it was actually the same price as well see and then here's the other thing when you put this back in this stupid clear plastic sleeve causes issues now the regular album version a friend of mine has the regular non-opaque violet version and that one actually comes with a paper a white paper sleeve as opposed to this difficult pain in the butt opaque violet sleeve so again going out with this other side here same exact thing not too much to see here from the um, side one of the album of course you just have the track listings as well same 33 and a half rpm and not much different there. So this has been a pretty quick video, but now getting into the actual review of the sound quality. Sound quality is fantastic. Uh, my wife really likes this album, so we spin it a lot, especially on weekends when we are cleaning house or just waking up with our morning coffee or something like that. But this is a solid album of music if you're one who likes multiple genres of music, not just rock like Kiss is known for. Um, so if you liked Peter's solo album, you'd probably like this because that would tell you that you liked different kinds of music other than the classic Kiss sound. Um, 
Paul has said that he is doing some kind of like acoustic piano only or vocal only kind of things with Soul Station. So we'll see if any of that ever gets released. But beware, the only thing I would caution you on is if you want this opaque violet color, you will be in probably getting a damaged insert piece as well as sleeves that are a pain in the butt to listen to. But if you're just a collector and you don't actually care for the album as much and you're just going to have it really in your collection, that will not be much of a struggle to you. And if you don't care about the colored vinyl either way, if you close your lid while you're listening to your vinyl or if you don't care to have the color and you want the white paper sleeve, you could always just get the black vinyl. Or if you just have paper sleeves and you don't care to keep it in the original packaging contents that it came in, you can also switch the sleeves out from the plastic to the white ones there as well. But that does it here for this video and uh, review unboxing of Paul Stanley's Soul Station album. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you. And remember, God gave rock and roll to you.